Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and we're going to go through what I have been warming through the month of February. I believe I did one, it looks like the 12th, and I haven't done one since, and I've actually gotten through quite a bit. I do not have my numbers yet, so um, we'll kind of pause and then count and, and figure out if I got through more than what I brought in this month. Um We'll see. So first thing I'm going to go through is this box. Um, these are kind of, these are the 10 new scents and uh, the Easter collection that I have in here. So as part of the Easter collection, um, this, oh no, this one's not Easter. Here it is. Violet Spun Sugar. So violet spun sugar is tart cloudberries meets violet water and spun sugar for a celebration of whimsy. Do I have you guys crooked? My apologies. There we go. So this one does have whatever that cloudberry is that I smell in cloudberry dreams, cloudberry dreams. I think that's what's called. I do smell that as well. I think this is a very, very nice scent. To me, it is bathroom because as you know, most scents that have floral or those kinds of things are going to be bathroom scents for me. And it it's a bathroom scent and really, really good. Next one is Pink Berry Fluff. So I think my ring light might be a little bright. Um, so Pink Berry Fluff. Oh, it's so pretty. Pink Berry, Marshmallow, and Vanilla Bean. It is very uh, delicate, I would, I would describe it as. Very, very feminine. Um, it is perfumey. It would be more of a light perfume that you would smell on, in, in my opinion, more of a younger lady. But it is, it's really, really good. Again, bathroom scent. Just because I have to do... Um, do that you know kind of for my head um so and then the last one is mandarin zest i actually got through the most of this one so sweet mandarin watery oh sweet mandarin and watery pear so this one is really good oh and henna vanilla i almost wish it had maybe a touch more mandarin in my opinion just a a hint of more mandarin but other than that it is really good i'm going to step away and go get the catalog and i'll be right back okay so i went and got the new catalog so that i have the sense because of course me being me i don't plan ahead um i got um a pretty interesting head injection today. So, you know, I tried the Botox. 31 injections are, you know, kind of a, around the head and across the, the back of the shoulders. And um, it didn't really do anything. Um, did an MRI. I just have normal degeneration of, you know, the discs and spine and that kind of stuff just based on my age. I'm 47. I'm not young. I'm not old. But it's, it's right in line with probably where it should be for my age. Um, quite a bit of arthritis though building at the top, so something to keep an eye on. But today I had what's called an occipital nerve block. And it's these two injections that go in the back of the skull right here. So they're extremely tender right now. Um, and it basically blocks the pain receptors in those nerves. Um, when he was injecting this side, he did this side first. Okay, cool beans. Then he injected this. All of a sudden, it, my head felt cold and it almost like a rush of water going up my skull. It was bizarre. And then he's like, okay, you're going to hear kind of like a crunching sound. Yeah, it is. It's as almost like your skin is separating from your skull or something because um, they stick these big, you know, bubbles basically they're called I think boluses but anyway bubbles of fluid and then he rubs it and disperses it and stuff but very interesting experience but I am really really hoping it will uh 
cut back on the level of my headaches. So we'll see. So yeah, they're, they're a touch tender. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, some of these I have emptied. That should not surprise you. So mango matcha. Oh, it's so good. Mango matcha is mango nectar, matcha sorbet, salted cucumber, and pure sugar cane. Very, very good. And actually, I like this one significantly better than Gogo Mango because Gogo Mango has, I think, hibiscus leaf in it. This doesn't. So for me, this aligns more with what I need from a mango scent. Um, with that in mind, I did do a vendor wax this week that had a mango in it and it blew my socks off. But for those who don't do vendor wax, I highly, highly recommend the mango matcha. I don't smell a green note. You know, like some people think matcha tea, like what came in the Bring Back My Bars, that was nasty. This is, this is a beautiful, sweet mango scent and I am here for it. I put it in my monthly club. So as you know, my monthly club is the club I use to just add things. If I don't wanna go ahead and place an order, I just add um, to that. So I did put that in there. The next one I got through is Tropic Nectar, the whole thing and see it's already I don't know, discolored a little bit. It's just the color of red, dark pinkish, just seems to color the, the clams so well. Anyway, Tropic Nectar is tropical fruit nectar, coconut milk, and golden agave. Now I know some people aren't liking this because of that golden agave. And I haven't noticed that I'm particularly sensitive to that. You can smell that coconut milk in it. And to me, it has made this a very creamy scent. Now, is it as creamy as rainbow sherbet or um, tangerine creamsicle? No, those hands down my absolute favorite. This to me could actually have a bit more creaminess to it, but I still think it's very, very good. I added it to my first um, club, my monthly to see about getting some more and trying it out some more. Let's see. And then the last one I got through is raspberry hibiscus tea. So it shouldn't surprise you that those are the only three I melted the whole bar, the whole bars on. This one though is wild raspberry hibiscus petals and elderberry sugar. Okay. So I really do like this. Now, some people are saying, is this the spring summer version of winterberry apple tea? I don't think so. I love winterberry apple tea. It is, it was one of the very first things I ever smelled with Scentsy. I put it in my club every single year when it um, leaves the catalog. Love that scent. This is really good. You can smell the raspberry. You can smell that elderberry sugar, in my opinion, but you can also smell the hibiscus. And for me, it could be headache inducing. I am not sure. So on this one, I did go ahead and put another bar in my monthly club to get that um because my club processes on the sixth of the month so having it that soon then hopefully i can melt it some more okay so there are other ones that i actually liked but i don't think will like me so first one is mountain sunset and i know a lot of people are just raving about this scent it's wild bluebells warm woods and golden amber and it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But it did induce a headache for me. So yes, I know I'm going through these different kind of headache trials, basically. Um, but for me, I'm probably not going to get this. I am very fruity, citrus, bakery. I don't much leave that realm because it's what I like. And I know there's some people out there who don't like bakery at all, and that's cool. And we all know bakery goes to the wayside when it comes to the spring summer, cause that's more fruity and fresh. This, you know, they added a bakery, which they didn't, um, to the catalog. But this one, if you're looking for 
a very sweet because it's got that little bit of that coconut in there. But I love amber scents. Amber scents don't love me, but I really like amber scents. And just that hint of that, that blue bell. It's, it is absolutely a fantastic scent. So there's that one. The next one, I did only melt one cube of Lake My Day. All right. So if you remember when I did my cold sniff review of this, I really liked Lake My Day and I still like Lake My Day. But holy cow, is this scent strong. You know, this is why I wish I liked the fresh in the woods and those kinds of things, because they do tend to be stronger than my bakeries. But oh, I put one cube in the waiting area at work. And if you um, are curious, my warming area, I have it in one of my videos uh, that bring back my bar review. This was so strong, I had to turn it off. It's Lake Waves, crisp bergamot, and fresh oak moss. Very, very strong, masculine, uh, sensual, I would say a little bit, um, but it did really induce a headache for me. Um, I think if I put it in the far away warmer after a couple days, it might be good. Just like uh, Autumn Stroll, really like that scent. Once it gets to day three and four, it gives me a different, it's what I have going in the bathroom right now. And it gives me a different feel um, in, in day three and four than it does one, two. So maybe like my day would do that for me too. I'm not sure, but I didn't get through very much there. This one just made me want to hurl. Um, banana leaf and bamboo. I cannot stand with a passion green scents. I hate green scents. Um, white peach, no. Banana leaf, aged bamboo, and sheer mahogany. Um, and now I have two bars of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but uh, it's a no. It's a it's a instant pass. Peace Lily be with you. One cube. Oh, you can't tell. Sorry. One. Um, this is very, very pretty, but extremely floral. This is white peace lily, green apple, watery greens, and vanilla. Very, very floral. Not for me, but for those who like florals, I do think it would be a nice scent. Now, sugar blossom. I mean, we all know that Scentsy takes away bakery in the spring and summer. We expect it. It is just part of what it is. So those of us who love bakery, we club, you know, our fall stuff, or we club the LTOs that come through because we know bakery's leaving. So don't go throwing us something, calling it sugar blossom, which is a floral, and put it in bakery and think we're not going to see through it because it's not bakery. It doesn't even warm bakery. And I tried a lot of it. It's not bakery. So it really irritates me that Sensi did that, to be honest, because just say, hey, we're cutting it down. Just like the floral section in summer or in uh, fall winter, there's like two cents, one for the longest Luna. We know that. So don't think you're throwing us a bone with a floral, calling it a bakery. Anyway, it's golden blossoms, sugared citrus, and vanilla. And it's, uh, yeah, no, I didn't like it in the least. Okay, next one I did one of, and that was Woodland Meadow. And I know people are liking this one too, but Woodland Wildflowers, Forest Canopy, Bergamot, and Amber. And I don't like it. It's soapy. It's It's got this like weird, weird soapy scent to it that I just, I can't get behind. So I didn't like that one. And then the last one, which some people are struggling with is Soak and Raise. So whew, Soak and Raise is Mandarin, Orange Flower, and Ocean Air. Very, 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 very floral. Um, no, and I don't remember, but someone had said that one of them, they thought smelled like black opium. I wear black opium on the extremely rare occasion that I want to feel, I don't know, pretty. <laughs> I have to spray it like back behind me. 
um, out of all these 10 new scents, I don't think any of them smell like black opium. And I know this scent. It is one of my favorites. Um, here's a couple um, YSL scents I love. And black opium is one of them. So I don't know which one they said they thought smelled like black opium. I don't really remember who it was. But to me, it doesn't smell. None of those smell like black opium. So... Anyway, so those are just kind of a quick review of the top or the 10 new scents that, yeah, I'm not really here for. I'm just going to move this over. So look at this. Yeah, I think I did some damage. Um, whew, where to even begin? Um, okay. Weird, weird AF. Okay, cranberry and tinsel in your laundry. Um, it is, it, it's a fantastic scent. It really is. I really, really like this. And I've been trying, I've been using it in my laundry. It does not scent your laundry in the least. So I'm trying to think, okay, I have three bottles of the soap and I've got two more of the washer whiffs. So I'm like, oh, maybe I'll put the washer whiffs like in the bottom. I'll sprinkle in the bottom of our garbage can um, some of the more stronger washer whiffs to, you know, keep it smelling at least not rancid. Um, yeah, this is bizarre for laundry, but I think it's a really fantastic scent because you get that tree and you get the berries. So, um, yeah, for laundry, it was weird. But I think this would make a great wax. It would make a really good uh, scent pod. You know, something like that. Maybe just not laundry. Um, another odd one I got through was this candle. Uh, I throw everything in my crock. I don't burn candles. So fresh coconut and cotton. I had heard some good things about this one. Um, I would come in here and it was, oh, I could just feel it in my head. It's the cotton note that's in this. Uh, it, it was just way too much. I ended up pulling it out. It still has tons of scent, but as you can tell, the, the wick is hanging out right here. So it'll just go away. I'll just chuck it. Um, but if you like a good, fresh, cottony kind of scent, you might like fresh coconut and cotton. I just didn't. Okay, I have another, do I have only one more candle? I've got so much stuff in here, guys. Unicorn Sprinkles, love, love, love this scent. So Unicorn Sprinkles is fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, sugared lemon. Can hardly smell anything. Um, I, I love this, it lasts for about a week in the crock. Some, some scents, you know, more fresh scents will last a little longer, but this just made this room smell really nice and I enjoyed that. Um, let's see if I could just pull this handful of bags out and see what we can get to in here. Because I wanted to show you just, just how much I got through. I mean, it's just craziness. You'd think I hadn't melted all month. Or hadn't done a video all month, I mean. Okay, so this is a this is kind of an odd one. I have this watermelon tangerine hand cream. Uh, I put it on the other day and it smells bizarre. I don't know if it turned or what, I've never had a hand cream kind of end up smelling really icky, basically. It smells icky, and I like watermelon tangerine, so I'm not sure on this one. Um, I don't know that I, it has, I mean, there's numbers on it, but, so I'm, I'm just throwing it away, and I went ahead and switched to my It's Love, but yeah, it, it just took on this weird note, and I can see the, you know, the lotion in there and it looks fine and all but no I think I think something happened so it smells bizarre so it's going away um pods I did a pod set in very blessed very very little scent so once I don't really smell them much anymore in my car I will go ahead and take them out and put them in the uh 
air fan diffuser that's in our spare bathroom and and let them finish their life in there sometimes it's a couple days sometimes it's a bit more um next one was maple vanilla glaze another really good one this does still have scent but um it's almost i don't think that they can turn but it's smelling spicier than i remember i thought this was more in my recollection more of a vanilla -y maple but it's it's smelling quite cinnamony so so i did go ahead and pull those I finally took this guy out of my car. He's been in there for about a year because I hook it in the back. Totally forgot about him. Tropic Tango. There is like not a scent alive left in it, but um, yeah, finally took him out. All right. It looks like I got through more vendor wax than I did Scentsy. All right. One of the things I've been doing is prior to the end of the season, um, and prior to when my next club had um, processed, I wanted to, well, before this next one does, which my next quarterly, I'm in the middle of each quarter. So my next one's, what, March, April? April. I want to try and warm through scents that I have in my quarterly club to determine do I still want them. So the next one I did, because I mentioned some of this in my last video uh this was aladdin um three i think three wishes yeah love this scent very raspberry to me and there's there's no floral there's no anything else it's just a pure fruity kind of raspberry note no i don't know scent notes if you do like knowing scent notes and stuff i really recommend you listen to Mil to michelle she has the most epic database so this one, fantastic. It did stay in my club. I love this scent. Okay. Um, the next one, I must have only done one. Yes, I did this at work. Saint Knickerdoodle. I did, I did remove this from my club. I have apple butter frosting in my club and I had Snickerdoodle or Saint Knickerdoodle in my club. I prefer apple butter frosting so I removed the Saint Knickerdoodle. If I need something that has more bakery, I have sugar cookie, I have vendor wax, I have other things if I want to amp up the bakery quantity of uh, apple butter frosting. So for me, my preference went to the other one so that's why I did choose to remove this. I do still have um, like three or four bars of that. It's a really good scent but I like to keep my club under $200 for my quarterly. It's at 180 right now. So I'm, I'm sitting pretty good. Um, but with different bakeries coming through, I don't know if I'm going to be adding them or not. So I try and keep it to things that I really, really like. And this to me is kind of like a duplicate scent. So I did remove that one. Um, I know that I'm, I'm going to go against popular opinion, but... Um, the Sensperations. This one's the Mango Shortbread. While it is a good scent, um, it isn't the most epic mango I've ever smelled. So because I do vendor wax, I do branch out into other scent, um, I don't know, areas. But one of the companies that I really, really enjoy is Waxy Taffy. And it is in here, but she makes an amazing mango cupcake. So if I can get it from Waxy Taffy, then I don't need something that to me isn't enough sweet and bakery. So while it's good, it does still have that essence of uh, Go Go Mango, which is floral. So for that, um, I am not putting that in a club. And that goes along the same lines as the mango margarita. I did this one last night. I got home from work way too late today, so I didn't even bother changing. This one is very, very good. You do have a more citrus note in this one. So in this scent, you're not looking for a bakery tone to it like I was with the mango shortcake. 
This, it is just pure fruit and it's really, really good. And I'll probably get a few more bars. I will not of mango shortbread. I know crazy being the bakery person, but I didn't just because I can still smell some kind of florally something in that one. And the shortcake isn't strong enough for me. And I found something better in vendor wax. But this one, I'll probably get a few more because um, it is really nice. It is a headache inducer. There is something in it that is cueing my headaches. Uh, I don't know what it is, but maybe if I only melt one bar instead of two, maybe I can tolerate it a little bit better. Um, Valentine's Day, gotta melt its love. This was in um, Valentine's Collection 2020, I believe, because I think last year was the ones that, you know, or maybe this was last year and then there was that one, you know. Um, it's just a really, really pretty, um, fruit scent. It's not in my club anymore. I, you know, collected a few and then took it out. But on Valentine's, what do you do? You melt its love or something other, you know, romantic kind of, you know, scent. So I did that one. Uh, during the day, one day I did Desert Tropics. The beginning of this scent is a little, a little floral for me. Um, even though it's a nice scent, it is too floral for me. If it were my choice, I would um, sell the bars or give the bars away to someone else because it is a bit floral for me. Okay, last two bars I got through. Oh, well, we'll talk about this one. Strawberry lemon cake. Really good. Really enjoy it, but hella light. So it is, it's not the most authentic strawberry I've ever smelled. And no, I cannot smell the lemon at all, but it is, I think, a fairly decent strawberry cupcake kind of, of blend. Um, I did get the kit, so um, I have a few more and I melted it again today at work. At work, it does brilliantly. And I think it's because it's not an overly saturated environment, so I can smell it a bit more in my office. My office is fairly large. Um, but I had this going and, and it was lovely. I, it was absolutely delicious. And then I did a combo. I only melted through this. This one's cutie pie cupcake and I comboed it with Clementine cupcake. I love them both equally. So when Clementine cupcake leaves the catalog, I will be putting it in my club because I love these and I really love them together. Um, this to me is the perfect sensi level of cake note. I am thrilled happy birthday's coming out. Um, I have a couple bars that I haven't been wanting to warm. Um, I have warmed them and I do enjoy it. Um, I also have a couple birthday wishes, um, but I didn't want to warm. It's that hoarding mentality. I didn't want to warm them because then I wouldn't have them. Well, now happy birthday's coming back for those of us who haven't really experienced it before. So I know that there are a lot of people complain, well, Sensi just keeps bringing back the same thing. But with the amount of brand new Sensi customers and consultants and stuff throughout, of course, they're going to bring back things because they hear the oldies but goodies talking about all oh, this great, you know, cake note. Well, we want to experience too. So we're going to vote it back so that we can experience it too. And I think that's what's happening. So that's how we got cutie pie cupcake and it's in my club and that's how we're getting happy birthday. And it'll probably go in my club as well. So there's those. Then, as you know, I have been on a mission to melt through my testers. Let me kind of move this away here. Okay, so I did together, I'm trying to think of one. Oh, this one I took up front. Um, it's pumpkin cinnamon roll. The receptionist has been having a, a real strong hankering for like a gingerbread, and I have gingerbread donut, but it's a whole bar and I didn't want to give her the whole bar. And so I like, I have pumpkin cinnamon swirl, I'll bring it up. So I gave that to her um, so that she could melt that up there and hopefully get some of her, cause it's, it's been real snowy and everything. So since it's been real snowy, I thought I'm gonna give her something nice and warm and cozy. And even though I have definitely moved on to the spring. 
All right, so what I have going in the waiting area at work right now is Cloudberry Dreams. And, and I do smell that floral note of Cloudberry Dreams, which is the rose, but I do think it's the same Cloudberry that's in that scent. Anyway, it's really good. Um, it's not really strong for me out where I have it. So it just makes this nice um, scent in the waiting room. Okay. Um, I don't know which ones I've mixed. So Rainbow Sherbet. Oh, this one I mixed with uh, Tangerine Creamsicle, I think. Love both of these. Oh, Rainbow Sherbet goes in my club every year. I think I put Tangerine Creamsicle in too. Mm, it's just the thing with these is it's creamy it's I swear it's almost like you can smell the ice cream note or the sherbet note or whatever in them I love these two scents I did squeeze the day just a nice bright lemon I'm glad it's back um I have a brick of it so I did lemon sorbet another really good lemon to me, this one is more creamy lemon than squeeze the day and then Clementine cupcake. I'm assuming I mix this one with one of the lemons, but you never know what I do. So there's those. I'm trying to keep things stacked so that I can get the count easier um, for the end of the video. So I'll be pausing it while I do that and counting. All right, so here we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 clam shells because the scents of the 10 new ones that um, I don't like, I am getting rid of, or my neighbor who's a Scentsy rep and a good, good friend, um, she's, uh, she's taking the ones I don't like. So 25. That is really pathetic. Oh my gosh. So 25 and then I did seven testers. So as you know, I just keep them written on a calendar. Let's go through some vendor wax. All right. I have started having a problem with sassy, uh, sassy wax melts. This one was sweet winterberry, which is fruity, green, cranberry, raspberry, gooseberry, currant. Um, the problem I've been having though is that undercurrent scent that is sassy wax. Um, I don't know if it's turning or I've just become intolerant to it, but I, I don't like it. And so when I put this one in, I did end up pulling it out. Um, so I don't know. I thought I had a couple of them, but it doesn't look like it. Um, I did a, I got a tester scent from Kay's. I had placed an order and sometimes in the order she'll send in a tester set or a scent. So, um, she asked you to melt it. So it was like one big, looked like a piece of fruit or a, a slice of an orange, um, melt it and I had half of it going. This was in cranberry apple marmalade and it was really good, but to me it wasn't very strong and I wish it didn't have the, the spice in it. It was a cinnamony blend. I almost wish it was more of a, a sweet cranberry chutney kind of scent. It wasn't, but it was still okay. Um, oh yes. Okay. It wouldn't be a good lemon scent if it wasn't made for melt. These are looking a bit janky, aren't they? They're not even that old. Um, poured on 624.22. Made to melt and sis has one of the absolute best lemons out there. It is so, so incredibly strong. It's beautiful. It's delicious. It, oh, if you're looking for a bright citrus room cleaner sis's uh lemon is absolutely fantastic you should see the pile i have here all right uh this one was okay it was bubblegum fruity pebbles from l3 it wasn't real strong um 721 so it's been a while uh it just didn't you know really float my boat on that one. Oh, i did I did a few of these kind of together. I did some rainbow melt. She had some of these, you know, smaller ones. This one was lemon lime soda, 
blackberry sugared violets. And you definitely get the lemon lime soda, but I, I'm thinking I don't really like blackberry sugared violets. So that one wasn't a scent for me, but um, apple cider donuts was delicious. Uh, these are old, these are 2020. So crisp, ripe, juicy apples, fresh from the orchard, moist donut, or cake donut, cinnamon, and caramel. And it was, it was really, really good. And then I did bounce house, caramel, kettle corn, and pretzel. Um, it was, you know, it was a good scent. I'm not ordering from Rose Girls any, or uh, Rainbow Melts anymore. I haven't really ordered from her anyway, but um, just with her various antics with always being sick and always having excuses, it's just not a vendor I want to support. So um, I went ahead and left her group and um, I'm trying to narrow my choices down to like my top five vendors out vendors so outside of Scentsy and she's just not going to make the cut so um all right sugar melts by Stacy I did there it is two of these now I'm not a strawberry person so I emptied both of these bags fit into a candle vessel and I put it in my crock. It's drunken strawberry mixed with strawberry Twinkie. Now I'm not crazy about strawberry Twinkie, but drunken strawberry is okay. It's fresh strawberries, lemon zest, and a hint of vanilla. Strawberry Twinkie, strawberries, yellow cake, a hint of cotton candy, and vanilla cream. So it was definitely some strawberry going on in here. Um, also, just keep Stacy in your mind, in your prayer. She is dealing with cervical cancer. They caught it very, very early. She's stage one. Um, it looks like it's just going to be surgery and she'll be cool. But just, you know, she's very open about it on her Facebook group. Just absolutely please keep Stacy in your prayers, in your thoughts, if you don't pray, um, that we have a really wonderful outcome. So, um, anyway. The other sugar melts I did was peppermint mocha. And this one's a really good one. I did have it in, in the crock, but it was only a souffle. So it didn't last very long, but it's a delicate, soft mocha scent with the peppermint. So the peppermint is stronger. I actually, I don't like chocolate and wax, but there's something about a peppermint mocha scent that I haven't come across one I don't like. So it was really good really like it and I'll probably pick up more. Now I thought I had also done dashers, but I am not seeing it. Okay. Sample sweet and creamy. So it's just uh, sweet and creamy, just a vanilla scent. I thought I had gotten, I should just quit digging and just start going. All right. Blueberry Pumpkin Patch from Ella After. And this one is Fresh Picked Blueberries and Pumpkin. It was, I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it has a floral note to it. So it was a little different. It could be the age of the wax. I'm not sure, but it had a floral note. So that was kind of strange. Um, oh, I did Key Lime. Yeah. So, uh, what is it? Savannah Blues Key Lime Pie. So if you guys haven't tried this one, it is a really good key lime. It's tangy lime, green, green lemon zest, and van vanilla cream and gr graham cracker crust. So these are old. Yeah, August of 21. So these are pretty old. But they, I mean, they still threw like a beast. So very, very, very good key lime pie. And you know I love my key lime pie. Okay, next one, Salt Mountain Melts Blue Ribbon, which is blueberry cheesecake, pumpkin pecan waffles, and vanilla wafers. I really don't, this might be the only Salt Mountain. I did place a Salt Mountain order because I heard she has the raspberry. And by the way, if you're trying to replace VCS's raspberry, check out Kay's. She has the same raspberry. All right, so Blue Ribbon, it was okay. Um, I prefer my blueberry cheesecake from Scentsy. So this one I put in the crock and I'm not exactly sure what I was expecting from it. It actually might still be going. 
humble and kind. Oh, it's Birdie's Making Sense. And it was this big thing. And it's humble and kind. Fizzy pop, cream soda, pink sugar, and cotton candy. And, I mean, it was okay. Um, but I don't think it was anything to write home about. So, another one that I got, I think, in one of our... Um, swap boxes that we did was Good Morning Glory Wax Company. And this was supposed to be uh, Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea. And honestly, I ended up pulling it halfway through the day because I couldn't smell anything. So I pulled that. Um, Sugar Melts by Stacy under the big top. This one is Sugar Cookie Dough, Frosted Sugar Cookie, Animal Crackers, and Maraschino Cherry. So this one is very, very cherry. So not, not my scent. I'm not going to get this one again, but you know, I had to try it. It's a cherry and I haven't, I mean, I found a couple Scentsy cherries, but for the most part, I don't like cherry, but it, maraschino cherry is different than a black cherry. And I don't like black cherry at all. Um, this was in my bedroom. Finished this off. Rose Girls, it's creme de menthe plus cotton candy frosting plus royal sugar cookie. So this is a little bit of a weird one to have in the bedroom because I like really intense peppermint in the bedroom and this one has the cookie notes. So I probably should have just melted this throughout the house, but I didn't. Um, next one is lemon pound cake. I thought I did two, but I must have only melted one. Okay, lemon pound cake cheesecake from Rose Girls. So, 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 so good. Mm. I love a good lemon pound cake. It's like, oh, and this did not disappoint. And it's old, five of 21. But oh, it was, it was so delicious. I think I even have more. Thank heavens. All right, another rainbow melts. I was trying to um, I don't have any others, but I was trying to do some peach going on because um, Tim loves peach. So I put in peach, please. And it's fresh peach, waffle cone. And I thought I had another peach to go with it, but, um, and cookie habit. I couldn't smell a thing. Ended up pulling it and putting in another scent. And I can smell it in here. It totally smells like peach. So I don't know. That was, it was frustrating. Um, next one, waxy taffy zucchini bread. So I mixed this one with, to me, the best mango and it's waxy taffy's mango cupcake. So I wanted to give it a little bit more. Um, I had some warmers with just mango cupcakes and then some with some zucchini bread in it. Um, both waxy taffy. So it's, slightly fruity buttercream with creamy, buttery, fluffy vanilla cake and hints of white chocolate, which is cupcakes at Tiffany's, topped with mango glaze. Oh my word, it was so good. I even posted it on her group that it was by far the best, best mango cake scent I've smelled. I don't know if it's because it's mixed with the cupcakes at Tiffany's or what, but man, this is an absolute definite repurchase. Oh, and I asked her, I don't like unwrapping the taffies. I think it's a pain in the arse and I don't like doing it. So when I get my bags in, the first thing I do is unwrap them all and just stick them in the bag. She says on a pre-order, I can tell her or ask her to please leave them unwrapped. Score! I was thrilled about that. And then her zucchini bread is just, it's delightful. It is a really, really yummy zucchini bread. Nice, creamy, everything that I wanted it to be. Um, and then this, the other waxy taffy I did was her pink snow queen. She said she's been melting this in her bedroom. I thought it was fantastic in the open area. I wish it was a hair stronger, but it's pink sugar, coconut shortbread, and fluffy butter mints. And I love mint mixed with pink sugar. Oh, it's so, so good. So good. It's, I forgot how much I enjoy waxy taffy. So I really need to be um, kind of keeping an eye on what she's got going down out there. All right, then in the crock in here, I did cinnamon sugar pretzel. This is very pretzel heavy. 
it is really, really good. But if you, um, depending upon what the kind of pretzel you like, this is more of a yeasty pretzel. So it was okay. It was really good. Um, but I think I'm more of maybe a dry pretzel person. I'm not sure. Okay. So the next one is Wicked Essence Salty But Sweet. And I did two bags because um, they're really, really thin. So I did two bags. Cinnamon sugar. It says Bakes Crust. Powdered sugar and pretzel. And it was really delicious. Just straight up a bakery pretzely goodness. No fruit, no anything. Just a bakery yummy goodness. All right, the last one, other than I have two sample cups I got through, um, is the Pharmacist Daughter, which I don't purchase from Pharmacist Daughter anymore either. It's strawberry zucchini bread. I smelled this. I had um, just what was left of a loaf in here. And usually I have zero problem smelling zucchini bread since. I smelled it for about an hour, and then I couldn't smell it anymore. Um, it was poured in August of 21, um, I know my house doesn't particularly throw pharmacist's daughter very well. So the only thing I can think of is that's what happened here is my house doesn't really like pharmacist's daughter. So it didn't do as well. Okay. The two samples that I got through first one was Hey Boo, uh, vintage chic scents and it's salted butterscotch snow. Well, um, finished that at work. Um, uh, and this one, this was absolutely bizarre. Sassy Girl uh, Iceberg Waters. Dude, it smelled like a head of lettuce. Still does. Smells like a head of lettuce. It's, it was, it was odd. Okay, so that's everything I got through. So I have been keeping a little tally on the bottom of this as we went through this. And let's see what all I got through. Okay, so we have added it up. I brought in 101 Scentsy Bars. 28 vendor, six samples. So we brought in 135. I used 81 and then I used 23 samples. So if we add the totals, it's another bad month. So I brought in 135 and I only used up 104. So it's not very good. Anyway, okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep, you know, keep plugging on. So this next month, my focus is Scentsy. Um, I have way too much Scentsy. And so my goal is to get through 60 Scentsy clamshells this next month. So wish me luck. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.